Double punch! Huh? Uh -huh. uh huh. Thought so. Have they been doing any training at all? They were grounded for over half a year, so no. Uh, great. We've got no choice but to rejoin the fight. I should have one more sensu bean in here. Relax, Piccolo! It's all good! <laughs> Heck! <laughs> we haven't even gone Super Saiyan yet. You two sit back and recover some more, okay? We'll keep the big guy occupied in the meantime. Alright, I don't know if I heard that right, but did she just say they were grounded for over half a year? How does that even make any sense? Shut your ass up, Blue. Nothing has to make sense in this arc. Just get on with the video. Oh, my bad. Damn. The new Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter is out and it finally looks like it is getting close to the end. Now the reason why I and a lot of other people want it to end is because it is a retelling of the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie which is unnecessary and it is just boring. I don't know for how long it's already going but I'm pretty sure it's been going for like a year or something like that. But it actually looks like there is now a pretty cool change which is basically that Goten and Trunks have actually superhero suits on and they have like, you know, a little more action and stuff and they team up with the Gammas. So that already is a pretty cool change but they actually went Super Saiyan. Now it's our turn! Yeah! Then Cell Max gets a little whooping here and there but the others aren't joining in yet. It is only Gamma 1 and 2 who actually then join them and they do a little cool pose and stuff and they actually attack Selmax together which was pretty dope. See you man, X1! X2! Gamma 1! And 2! Move out! Cyclone Style! Tornado! But that wasn't enough, so Goten and Trunks decide to fuse, and this is a missed opportunity. Because Toyotaro could have drawn the real Gotex, but instead he chose to go with the movie. I understand he wants to stick to the movie, but honestly, if you're retelling the movie in the manga, why not make a cool change, in my opinion? Because like 99% have already seen the, the movie. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get the real Gotenks. Then the others decide to join in as well, and they do a little fighting, pretty much like the movie, and Selmax shoots like all of those lasers out and goes kind of berserk. <laughs> so like in the movie, Pan is running away from the blast, and... For some reason, she can't fly. I remember in the movie, she then, you know, started flying, so that's a weird change. Krillin saves her, and it basically ends with Gamma 2 preparing for the sacrifice. So yeah, that's where the chapter ends. Um, I think next chapter, we're gonna get the fight with Orange Piccolo. So yeah, I, th I think like in around two or three months, we're sh we should be at the end of this arc it was dragging and honestly i already know this video won't perform well because simply this arc is boring this arc is just super boring i want to move on from this i want to see what is going on with the other universes let me know what you're hoping for in the future it's the first time me doing a review like this this one is pretty short because as i said this arc is pretty damn boring if you enjoy a manga review like this and want me to do that in the future please let me know because it is actually pretty refreshing and it would be a cool monthly series for each chapter. I kind of enjoy doing the little animated sequences as you saw. A huge shout out to the voice actors. I will have them linked in the description. They did a phenomenal job as always. They were also the voice actors of my Dragon Ball Super Superhero fan animation. If you haven't checked that out, <laughs> you, you're definitely missing out. I'm planning on doing more reactions in the future. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. But until then... Hope you will have a great day and see ya.